For those of you who don't have a root cellar or a basement, like me, here's a solution for you. I had this uh, completely buried uh, and uh, it has eroded a little bit, uh, but I, um, it's not something I'm trying to hide. This is uh, where I put my root cellar. This is a small one, a 30 gallon over here. I have my 55 gallon. And what these drums will do is uh, things that are sitting on the bottom, like jars of uh, fermented vegetables or other canned goods or your roots or whatever, uh, things sitting on the bottom won't freeze. Uh, the ground stays a constant 60 degrees temperature throughout the year. Now, I did ha again, I had this buried a little bit better, and I'll come out here and bury some more because we have, this is on the hillside, gets a lot of rain and uh, washes around there. But this is a 55 gallon drum. Take off this band and I'll show you my root cellar. Now I have uh, pea gravel on the bottom just as a weight because what happens is these holes that you dig here if they fill up with water your barrel will float up and come right out of there if it's uh, if it's empty it doesn't have a lot of weight in it so i put pea gravel on the bottom just as ballast just to weigh it down now this white cannon here is not necessary i just put it in here because i'm not using much of this space right now most of the things i'm fermenting right now here in the fall uh are still in the house fermenting here are a couple of things that i did put down here some fermented vegetables, uh, zucchini, squash, broccoli, and garlic, and uh, who knows what else. Just uh, fermenting in the uh, brine. But anyway, so when I need more room, I'll probably take out this uh, white garbage can. It was just convenient to bring these out here. And I'll have this root cellar filled up to uh, up to the ground, perhaps with the um, with the jars. And then I'll bury this a little bit better to help the temperature and cover it with leaves just to help uh, insulate it over the winter when, the, when it gets really, really cold. But I'll wait until I put my other jars in there before I do that. There you go. Anybody can have a root cellar who has uh, some ground where they can dig a hole to bury a 55 gallon drum or a 30 gallon drum over there. Um, I will warn you though, digging that hole was a bear. Digging down that deep with a shovel. Uh, if you have a backhoe or can hire someone to do it, <laughs> do it. Okay, let's uh, secure my root cellar again. And I'll put this band back on there and lock her down which is probably going to be a two-hand job, so I'll go ahead and uh, end this video now. There's Survival Doc's Root Cellar. This is Survival Doc reminding you, be prepared, or be prepared to be fleeced.